What is going on guys? Grave here. Welcome back to Star Wars Battlefront 2. And a few days ago I made an assault class guide kind of going over everything with the assault class. And today I want to do a weapon review for the A280. I'm going to do this for the other two unlockable weapons within the assault class as well. But I kind of want to give you the stats of the weapons so you kind of can see what you're looking at with this gun and for each gun in the assault class. But I'll bring the rest of these here in a few days. But first of all we're going to talk about like I said the A280 today. And this gun has pretty good damage. It is a three round burst. You're looking at a maximum damage of 33 and a minimum damage of 19. That is per bullet. So always remember that's times three. So when you get to like damage to head, neck, that kind of thing, body, we'll talk about that here in just a second. That's always going to be times three because this is a three round burst weapon. Now there is an exception to that minimum damage. That is if you have the improved range attachment on you will get, instead of a minimum of 19, you'll get a minimum of 26. Now, at close range, this thing will do 33 damage to the body, 62 damage to the head, and at long range, you're looking at 19 damage to the body and 36 damage to the head. Your damage drop-off starts after 20 meters. So, 0 to 20 meters, you're going to get that maximum damage, and that uh, drop-off ends at 40 meters. So, after 40 meters, you're going to still get that minimum damage from 40 meters on out. Your rate of fire is 110 bolts per uh, per second, or of course 100 rounds per minute, or 110 bolts per minute, excuse me, and 600 rounds per minute. So it's a pretty quick firing gun, especially if you have a fast trigger finger. But one thing is you will get a issue with overheating, which we will get into here in just a second. The passive cooldown is 0 0.3 seconds. The passive cooldown delay is 5 seconds. Your vent time is 1 second. And your overheat, and this is what I was talking about, if you start spamming this weapon very quickly, you can overheat it in 8 bursts or 24 total shots. Now, the other exception to this is if you have the improved cooling attachment on, you will be able to, are allowed to use 10 bursts or 30 shots. So that's going to upgrade that by 2 bursts and a couple bullets as well. So just remember that improved cooling is a big plus on this weapon in my opinion. Your overheat penalty now this is if you overheat the weapon is one second and believe me you don't want to get caught with any of these weapons over uh, overheating so make sure if you do hit that overheat bar you go ahead and, and get it lined up so you can uh, reload pretty much technically a little bit quicker because if you're if you're if you're missing that yellow bar and you're having to sit there and wait for that weapon to cool down and you're in a gunfight you're going to be in a lot of trouble now some other things about the weapon is some of the mods that you can unlock. Of course, the first thing that you unlock is the dual zoom at 25 kills. And this does give you an extra zoom level. And you saw me kind of at the start of this video using that uh, extra zoom. A and I feel like it is good in some situations, not all uh, larger maps, it's good. But if you go into smaller areas, it's best to take it off, in my opinion, because you're not going to need that dual zoom. The two best attachments overall are the improved cooling and the improved range. Now the improved cooling is unlocked at 75 kills and it, it kind of lowers the heat per bullet from 0 0.042 to 0 0.03334. Now that's not going to sound like a lot, but it does help a good bit in the long run. Now of course the improved range is unlocked at 150 kills. And like I said, it, it raises that drop-off damage at 19 to a minimum of 26. So the improved range and the improved cooling, in my opinion, are the best two attachments. But the zoom does come in handy, like I said, in certain situations and on certain maps. The main thing I can tell you to do with this gun, or the kind of main tips I can give you, is stay close to medium range. You don't want to be just point-blank range because it is not the greatest you can lose those gunfights. I would say at point blank range, you got about a 50 50 chance of winning those gunfights. But at medium to medium long range, this thing is absolutely brutal. If you keep your shots on target, especially upper chest and head, you will melt people very, very quickly. You'll be able to drop a lot of enemies and go on some very long kill streaks. Like I said, this is a gun for that medium range style. If you want to be aggressive, just kind of semi aggressive, kind of keep pressure on the enemy, but not right in their face. I think this is definitely going to be the gun for you. I hope you enjoyed this, guys. Leave me a comment and let me know. Of course, if you did, I will be bringing some of the other assault class weapon guides here in the next couple days. So I hope you're looking forward to that. And of course, if you liked it, hit the like. If you have not subscribed yet, please do so. And I'll catch you next time. Peace.